Hey Kindergarten, I brought a big group of friends with today and they have a special message for you about the story that we're going to read today and they want you to spell out the main word that the story is all about. So here we have Mr. L and Miss O and Mr. V and Miss... E, right. Mr. L is made of lovely lemon lollipops. What sound does Mr. L's lovely lemon lollipops begin with? Ugh. Here's Miss O. Do you guys remember what she is? She's kind of obstinate. That means she doesn't do what she's supposed to do. You need to make better choices, right? You should get along with other people. Today, though, she's going to get along with her friends to help you spell out this word. So, what does obstinate begin with? Ah, ah, okay. Who is this handsome fella? Mr. V and Mr. V's violet velvet vest begins with what sound? V, okay. And Miss E, her sound, her exercise sound begins with? Eh, exercise. So, if you remember, we can take all of those sounds and we can put them together to form a word, right? So, if we go l, a, v, uh, l, a, v. If we put them all together, what word do they make? Love. Love. Excellent. Well, the letter people are going to help us read our story today, which is, there's that word again, love monster. Love monster. It's by Rachel Bright. If I say it's by Rachel Bright, she is the author. That means she did what? means she wrote the words. You are correct. Okay, let's read today's story. Love Monster. Ooh, who's our main character going to be? Looks like that guy. Does he look mean? Does he look happy? Sad? Confused? Nervous? Scared? Yeah, all sorts of emotions. What, what emotion do you think he's expressing with his face? What is the expression on his face telling us? Well, let's read the story and find out how he feels. Love Monster. This is a monster. Hello, monster. Uh-oh, he doesn't look too happy. I think you'll agree he's a bit funny looking, to say the least. Oh, it's not a nice thing to say. He lives in a world of cute, fluffy things. Official pile of extreme cuteness. I see bunnies and kittens and doggies and all sorts of cute, adorable things. Oh, which makes being funny looking pretty darn hard. Poor love monster. You might even, I'm sorry, you might have noticed that everybody loves kittens and puppies and bunnies you know cute fluffy things and it's true lots of people like cute fluffy things but what about poor love monster <sighs> oh no but nobody loves a slightly hairy i suppose a bit googly-eyed monster oh Poor monster. There we go. This might be enough to make monster, to make him, this, oh, I made a mistake, we'll stir it over. You can do that, that's okay. This might be enough to make a monster feel, well, a bit down in the dumps, but not being the moping around sort. He decided to set out and look for someone who'd love him just the way he was. 
He's headed into the big, wide world. He looked high. We know it's high because it's up. He looked low. We know it's low because it goes down. High, low. He looked middle-ish. Mm, kind of flat. Just a tumbleweed blowing across the prairie. He looked middle-ish. He looked inside. And outside. Looking outside the door. More than once he thought that maybe he's at a non-cute fancy dress shop. Oh, it's closed to actual monsters. More than once he thought that maybe, just maybe, what is that? That's his shadow. He'd found what he was looking for. Did he find somebody else? Oh, no, that's his what? What is that called? That's his reflection. He thought that maybe, just maybe, he'd found what he was looking for. But as it turned out, things were never quite as they seemed. Yes, it would be fair to say that his search did not go well. He's got all this stuff. And then it didn't go well some more. Oh, poor love monster. It didn't go well for such a long time, in fact, that it began to get dark and scary and, well, not very nice. What can we predict is going to happen? Is it going to stay this way for love monster? What do you think? Let's turn the page and find out. So the monster, having lost all his oomph, decided it was time to give up. Bust to Cutesville. He's just gonna go back home alone. So the monster, having lost all his oomph, decided it was time to give up and go home. But in the blink of a googly eye, what's happened? In the blink of a googly eye, everything changed. What do you think is happening? You see, sometimes when you least expect it, love finds you. Oh, is that a happy ending or a sad ending? That's a happy ending. He finally found somebody who loved him. Love Monster finally found somebody who was just like him. Isn't that a great story, guys? It's all about love and not giving up. All right. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the story. Some of you have probably heard it before. I think we actually made Love Monsters in our classroom. Um, out of hearts and crinkled paper and you got to draw their faces however you wanted. Draw another love monster. Get some paper. Make him look however you want. What does your love monster look like? Okay. All right. Well, goodbye to Mr. L and Miss O and Mr. V and Miss E for now. They'll come back and read some more with us later. We got more stories to do and more activities to keep you busy and not drive your parents up the wall. All right. Have a good night, guys, and I will see you later.